No, I need a rack. A crappy rack. So I'm going to wipe that down. Just push it in. Dirty, greasy rack. But first, let's put some of this stuff in. Into the crack. It seems I bypassed it. That was a kind of a waste. much about that because it's going to get a quick coat of paint on it anyway. Okay, I have a piece. Now what I want to do, what I want to do, what I'm going to do, or what I'm going to be able to do, which is going to hang here, this is going to hang here. Let me get the other tape in here. This one's not going to stay up for me. Now, this side a little bit lower. This side is a little bit higher. So I'm going to have to put a piece here. Actually, even in the back. And I'll even do it up there. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me do that. I don't need to make well, I do need. I need some 14s. What do I need? 14s. Let me see. Yeah, I think I need some 14s. By what? 36 will work. Okay, so I need two 14s by 36. slide it in. What I figured, I could have gained about three inches uh, if I wanted to do a lot of little cutting and try to get it in from the top on the other side, come in and down. But that three inches wasn't worth the trouble. So what I'm thinking, well, what I had done, I put the 2 by 3s back, leaving about 3 quarters of an inch on the top, and then I followed the back side with the same. So what I'm thinking here is, or at least hoping, is that I can slide this shelf in you know, and just slide it in. And if that happens, well then I can just put a little caulk up under there and when I get around to it, put some screws in it. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. So. so let's see what we end up with here. 
depends how straight the top cut was up here. Ah. Nice, easy, perfect. See the boys? Uh, I don't know if you remember these or if I was even doing Facebook. I have a Facebook, a fight, yeah. Uh, if I was even doing um, YouTube. Alright, so this is bare. You can see it without the reflections. And it's in down there. And over there. So that's bare. And then Lance came after that. Uh, Lance was in Georgia. And he was uh, in a kill shelter. So I got a hold of him and I said, if you can get him halfway up here, I'll pick him up. And that's what we did. So I adopted him. So that's Lance, uh, without the shadows or light glare. And then uh, this is Lance on the left. No, I'm sorry, Lance is on the right and Duffy on the left. Uh, they were laying there together holding paws. They did that a lot. And then, let's get over to the other side here. And this is Duffy. And he came in from New York. He was originally going to be a foster. And when he got here, we decided to keep him. He was 13 or 14 weeks old when we got him. They were all 13 and 14 weeks old when we got them. And they were 13 and 14 weeks apart from one another when we got them. Let me turn off this light. Uh, you may not see them now. With the darkness. But there's Duffy. Duffy. And when he was a pup, that's when we first got him. And there's a bear. I'm not going in any special order. I'm just going in the way that they're up here right now. And there's his profiles. And then Lance. And again, Lance. And Duffy on the left, Lance on the right. And that's it. Now Lance was a, a Malamute. Bear was a rot. Well, they said he was a rot, but I think he was a mix. Uh, there was no papers. I got him from an adoption uh, in Georgia. Uh, they shipped him up. So, uh, and then Duffy. Now, believe it or not, as cute as he looks, he was Malamute, and the vet said he had part wolf in him. Now, I don't know. So, so. But uh, those are the three boys, and uh, they'll always be with us, that's for sure. There are three good boys. All right, now.